Hello everyone and welcome back again to one of our cyber security videos. Today we are going to talk about um, how to prepare a USB as a bootable USB for Windows so you can use it to boot into Windows installation to prepare uh, your computer to install Windows or to fix it or troubleshoot stuff so previously in the old days we used a cd-rom and a, a windows cd like windows xp or windows 98 to boot from the cd-rom itself nowadays because it's now windows 10 and windows 11 are very large on a usb or even a dvd we are using um, a usb itself not a cd-rom so we'll prepare today this usb to be bootable so you can plug it in into your machine and tell your computer to boot from this one so you will boot from the installation itself so let me show you how we do that so this is a virtual machine windows 10 installed on it and i'm just gonna demonstrate on how to do that first of all you're gonna need two things one is a ISO image of Windows itself so Windows installation itself that you will get from Microsoft and a software that will burn this image this ISO image on this one on the USB and make it bootable okay first let me show you how to get the Windows installation itself uh, recall. So I will just go to Google and say download Windows 10 ISO and then as you can see let me make this one bigger so you can see the first one is from Microsoft download Windows 10 disk image or ISO file this is the one what we need so you go to this one and I'm just making it a little bit bigger so you can see. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I click on this one. No, this is the media creation tools. I don't need that one. You click on more download option. Uh, it's not here. Okay, maybe because it's an old one now, so you don't offer it anymore. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's try Windows 11. So, download Windows 11 ISO. And then again, the first one is from Microsoft. You just need to make sure that you are on Microsoft. It says here, download Windows 11. So I'm going to click on this one. And yes, here, as you can see, download Windows 11 disk image or ISO image. For x64, this means it's a 64-bit machine. All right? Oh, something happened. The windows got frozen itself. So let me restart it. Yep, it's frozen. Let's restart it. So reset. it's working now so I'm going to say Windows 11 and download now then choose the language I'm going to choose English international and I confirm 
then say download windows so i'm downloading a 64-bit image and it will download it here As you can see it's a little bit small but it's 5.4 gigabyte so instead of waiting all of that time i just download it windows 10 before it's here now the next one so i have the iso image here windows 10 or windows 11 doesn't matter you're gonna use um, the image itself to install windows or to get into windows if you forgot the password i've already created a video about that so the next step is to download a software that can do that for you i'm using a software called rufus so i'm just going to search for rufus and it's the first one it's rufus.ie that's create bootable usb drive the easy way just gonna click on that one making a little bit bigger so we can see then look for download i'm downloading the standard portable so the portable one doesn't need an installation so i'm going to download that one and then open it okay it's asking if it wants to check for updates not for now so now i have uh, this the iso image and the software itself let's plug this in to the computer Now we'll connect it to the virtual machine. Now it's detected here. So it said, yes, you've entered a USB that's 64 bit. Now I'm going to select ISO. So it needs to know where is the file itself. So I've put it on the desktop. This is Windows 10 Pro, Pro ISO. So it say here is scanning image at the bottom. Now it's ready. It's telling you it will label or rename the USB itself to this name. You can change it to whatever you want. Don't change anything else and then you press start. Once you press start, it will burn the image itself on the USB drive and then make it bootable. This way you will have a portable Windows 10 with you that you can plug it in into your USB, then boot into your BIOS settings of your machine. Every brand is different from one another like HP is different than Dell, than Lenovo. Just need to look up online your model and see how can you get into the bias itself, which should be F2, F12, F10. It, it will tell you for this brand, for this model, you just need to press this button at the booting of the machine itself and it will get into the bias. You change the boot order to the USB and you need to block USB before you do that first. Before you turn on the machine, you need to block the USB in. And then turn on the machine, get into the BIOS, change the booting order to the USB itself. It will tell you on the screen itself how to change it. Like it will tell you press uh, some button to put it up on top. You just need to put it as the first one. You save everything, reboot the machine, and it will start booting from the windows installation on this one once you boot it up you have the option to troubleshoot to use the command prompt and get into windows we have a video about that uh, install windows and anything else this is how you create a bootable usb for windows 10 and windows 11. thank you for watching and wait for more videos